What's going on boys? I'm back with another banger. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 build moves that every single pro uses. Starting off with the reverse cone. This is a super protected way to do a 180 and still get height. You'll see Polarize use this all the time. You're gonna start with triple edits up with an extra ramp extended outward. Jump and do a 180, place it on the ramp out with a cone on top. Edit the cone into a ramp, then swing high walls around you with a ramp above you and below you. Edit through and go into whatever you want from there. Next are high wall side jumps. These are super important if you're trying to get better at build fighting. Side jumping allows you to keep your momentum going and keeps you protected from whoever's on height. You're going to need to be on a ramp with a cone above your head. Strafe in the direction you want to jump, but stay far enough back on the ramp so you don't hit your head. Swing walls two layers above you and land on a floor. Now, onto elevated ramp flips. These are insane for getting up multiple layers fast without wasting too many mats. This is super simple. Start with a ramp with high walls, but make sure you put high walls in the direction you want to flip your ramp. With these, I personally favor my right side, but do whatever works best for you. Grab your ramp edit, jump, select and confirm so you can land on the flip ramp. Next are elevated cone flips. These are a super fast way to elevate and change direction all without losing your momentum. Every pro uses these constantly when they're going up for height. Start with a cone floor double edit, swing high walls around you with a cone on top, jump, reset, and flip your cone, then set up another double edit and repeat. Now onto sprint 90s, the fastest way to elevate layers. Adding the small sprint in between each level change reduces the time you spend running on your ramp. Pros do this all the time. Do your classic 90, then sprint up your ramp and do another 90 without jumping. Practice sprinting to the right spot every time so when you place a floor and ramp, you get pushed up onto the layer you need to be. Next are cone extensions. These are one of the best ways to transition into a different sequence and establish some distance between you and your opponent while elevating. Start with a triple edit up, then jump out of the edit, place a wall and two ramps outward with a cone and another wall on top. Edit through and repeat. Now, onto protected crossovers. This style of crossover is incredibly useful for blocking off your opponent. Just cranking out one or two of these can set up really good peace control and help you win the fight. Start with a ramp below you and a wall to your side. Extend two more ramps connected to the wall, jump, place a wall on the farthest ramp, land on another ramp and extend two more ramps. Then to keep elevating, jump, place a floor, and a ramp out in front of you. Next are protected cone extensions. These look a bit flashy, but they're definitely worth learning. Each one establishes peace control and gives you a lot of options in terms of what play to make.
These all start off like the classic cone extension. The difference is you swing cones and high walls around you. These are the hardest moves to learn in this video, so take your time and get it down slowly first. Now, onto some simple quad edits. These are super easy and set you up for very nice piece control opportunities. They elevate you and also bring you closer to your opponent. Super straightforward. Keep moving in the same direction and keep your cross replacement tight. Nothing too crazy. Finally, our elevated side jumps. These are super straightforward. Edit your cone, strafe, and jump out of the box. Swing walls around yourself and place floors and cones for you to land on. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.